Hello Superherd and welcome back to LEGO Worlds and today we're going to be continuing adventuring the Jungle Explorers free DLC. Of course there are more models available here on the home page like this one and I really hope that this one, it's called the Dino Discovery Site, hopefully it includes some free dinos and we also have here the Dino Transport Cage. And then I think we have everything else, but we're not quite done, exactly. Because you might know that in the Jungle Explorers trailer that they posted on the official LEGO Worlds website, or YouTube channel, I think. I don't know if they posted on the website. If there is a website? I don't know. But either way, there are actually secret codes hidden in that trailer that we're going to unlock today and see what kind of add-on content it could give us. Usually we have to enter a code, yep, just like this. And I'm gonna put in each one and hopefully we can get something cool out of it. The first one is DN2. Eight, I think it almost looks like a six, but I think it's an eight four C and let's see if that got us anything except a Jungle buggy awesome. So we'll have to check that out and then there are more codes if you give me a second I'm gonna try to find those there's at least one more in here They're they're really well hidden and sometimes they're like you just they're easy to miss because they're just in gray uh, But this one is X and I suggest you go ahead and check out the trail on the Lego world's YouTube channel and You can see for yourself, but uh seven six I think it's Y, F, done. And then, code invalid, oh no, I messed something up there. Oh, maybe that's a V and not a Y. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that actually is a V. It sort of just looked like an, uh, a Y to me. XP76VF. Let's try that and accept. Ooh, jungle cargo helicopter, so new vehicles, that's really cool. I'm gonna go and check if there's any more. So it looks like that's it. So we're gonna go ahead back into the world we were venturing in the last episode and check out all of this new Jurassic Explorer, Jungle Explorer, whatever it's called stuff. Okay, so oh, those are two Jungle Explorer things. So before we of course go and change whatever our costume will be, let's check out our new stuff. Um, So we can go here and then our new vehicles right here are the Jungle, uh, no Jungle, <laughs> Jungle Cargo Helicopter. That is 10,000, which is no problem for us with all the studs we got in the last episode. Wow, this thing is so cool looking too. I like it, so if we're ever exploring the jungle like we are right now, this might be our best bet. Now some of you did confirm for me that yes indeed, we do have to find dinosaurs here in the jungle. This is the biome we will find them in. We just haven't been so lucky so far, but that's fine because hopefully with that one dino exploration, uh, thing we just unlocked, maybe we can find it there. But also, we have another vehicle that I will land somewhere and show now. So let's go ahead and hop out of here and pull up this and let's see. It should be, yep, right next to it, it is over here. This is the jungle buggy. Is this a jungle? No, okay. Thought there was other jungle related stuff, but here's a jungle buggy. That's also 10,000. Actually, it's really, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, is there a honk button? I wish we forgot. There it is. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool. It's very small and it doesn't go uphill very well, so of course, as always, I prefer flying vehicles over land vehicles most of the time, but still a nice little uh, small vehicle that actually seemed to go pretty fast. So let's check out our other stuff here. If I pull this up and we go here to the brick builds, we should find some new stuff that should be marked when it's new. Uh, Well, actually, now that, 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 was that how it always was? Now there's a little download symbol next to the stuff that are downloaded instead of found in game. So, with that being said, we have shown off some of it in the previous episode, so go check that episode out. But for right now, we are gonna check out the Dino Discovery site, and then maybe after that, wherever the Dino Cage is. But for now, Dino Discovery site, let's try to put that somewhere. I wish we had more flat ground here in the jungle, but we just do not, so we're gonna have to compensate by hoping that it does that sort of kind of work for us. And I really, really hope that with this comes a dinosaur, right? That would be awesome. Um, So here are the mysterious dino tracks. And not too much else. I mean, what is over here? Like a little log? Okay, I thought that was like a wheels to a vehicle. So I'm not seeing too much. Of course, some of these, you know, like I said, gave us chests like this one that gave us thousands, hundreds of thousands of studs. Yes, and that's exactly the case. So there is a little hidden chest there. Make sure you get that but I don't see any dinosaurs. Oh, hold on, hold on, you see that on the map? You see that on the map, where's that dinosaur at? Is he on the trees? I think he's on the trees. Let's pull out um, a vehicle that I can fly on really, really quick. I need to find this dude. The game is going really slow. I think it, it's trying to taunt me. 
Uh, let's get Agent's Helipack. I can hear the roar of the dino. Oh, I'm getting excited. I need to find this guy, because I've been wanting to find a dinosaur in this game. There he is, for the longest time. Now, can I just go up and discover him? Do I have to defeat him? I'm not really sure, because of course, like, you know, other crazy characters like the, um... So, cannot discover yet. Quest not done. Oh, and he's gonna immediately attack us. So, I think that means we really wanna pull out a weapon. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, inventory, let's just bring out our space blaster. Hopefully this will do us some good. There he is. So we're gonna aim up, if I can. Am I pressing the wrong button to aim up or is the controls being wonky? The controls are being wonky. Let's blast him, blast him, blast him, blast him. Oh, wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is, he wants a banana, but he's underwater. Discover, 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 discover. I can't discover him because he's under stinking water. Ah, oh, this game sometimes. Okay, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's landscape tool and make this all ground. That way he can't be underwater, the little booty butt. I actually do not know where he is either. Um, no, I wanted to make this ground. Oh gosh, he might just be sunken underwater now. It says that he's like over here. I do not see him. Oh my gosh, this is like the worst possible thing that could have happened when finding a dinosaur. Really? Yeah, I don't know where he is. I gotta find him again. Maybe he's up here in the tree again. That'd be nice. I don't see him. Don't tell me I just lost my first dinosaur because that would make me so upset. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. So I see him up there. Maybe I'll try to shoot him away from the water this time and hopefully he, he won't be a dingus and just fall in because apparently he just sinks like a rock when I need him to not do that. Can you not get stuck on every little thing, Jungle Explorer? Thank you, I thought you were good at exploring the jungle. Okay, so he's right here. All I need to do is pull up my, I feel like the controls aren't working today. I'm like pressing the buttons I normally press to pull up weapons and stuff and just nothing's happening. I loved her face of glee when I pulled up this weapon. Like she just knows she's about to blast some dinos and that just makes her have so much fun. Where'd he go? He's right there and we just need to run over there and they don't give you much time to do this. But instead, like, it's giving me the option to discover him, but I can't discover him just yet because I gotta give him a banana and it just doesn't sort of expect that for some reason. All right, now we can discover him. There we go. Awesome. So he is ours now, and I can unlock him for 75,000. That's totally fine. But we have our first dinosaur. This is awesome. So here we go, we have a Velociraptor. Now I know this isn't the only dinosaur you can find in the game. This is the only one we have found so far. He is really cool though. He does a backflip every time you jump to him. He's quite the acrobat. Oh, I like it. But we aren't quite done in today's episode. We have found ourselves a Velociraptor, something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. We aren't quite done. I'm gonna go ahead and discover some of these footsteps. We got like a left footstep and then, oh, okay. They're both the same. I thought that maybe there was like a left one and a right one, but that is not the case. Uh, we have this plant that we have apparently not discovered, but I think we've discovered everything else in this area. So now, we can try to find somewhere with maybe a little bit more space. Have I discovered you? Yeah, you're me. No, actually I haven't, Sue Montana. Okay. I'm here researching the evolution of dinosaurs and I found evidence to suggest that even common animals once uh, descended from prehistoric creatures. Creatures. Would you like to help me in my research? Bring me the following so I can show the scientific community that these creatures were once ferocious dinosaurs. So you just need five chickens. Okay, maybe they really were once ferocious dinosaurs. I don't know, I'm not a uh, chicken scientist. All right, well, there's one, there's two. Why, why is this not working for you, lady? Uh, are you looking for something more than I'm giving you? These are chickens. Um, lady, what's your problem? The game is definitely being glitchy today. I gotta say, what is going on? Oh, I need to put them here, okay. She just sort of walked out of her boundary zone. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's not one, nice. there you go. Because you can't put them on a spot where there's already chickens. There we go, so I can unlock you now, which I'm sure you will not run away, right? Oh, he's sleeping, he's a cute guy now. There we go, so that is a character. Maybe we'll play that character today. Let's go ahead and try her out. She is going to not be here, but here. So where is she? Um, somewhere. <laughs> We have a lot of characters at this point, oh my gosh. Maybe I should actually start buying the most of these. Now that we have so many coins, maybe I should just go ahead and do a bit of this. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't need the mummy. Uh, nope, that's that's still also not what I wanted to do. Buy, buy, buy. Where is this character at? I mean, she's gonna be around here somewhere, and we'll eventually find her. That's the warrior woman. 
Oh, the balloon lady's over there. We'll go ahead and check that out soon so we won't spend all of our studs here, but we have plenty to spend, so it's not that big of a deal. We got the witch over there, that's cool. I don't know where she is. We definitely haven't bought her yet, right? Like, maybe we have, and I just sort of missed it. Oh, yeah, because we got a lot more characters to go through. <laughs> like, I'm not even, like, breaking into, you know, less than a million right now with how much we're spending, so that's crazy. I mean, a lot of these characters are only, like, a thousand each. Here she is, so she is going to be Sue Montana. I just gotta remember that. So there's all of the characters we have. Um, so now if I go like this, where is Sue Montana again? Um, right here? Swamp Police Officer, no, that's not Sue Montana. Oh gosh, we have so many, it's insane. <laughs> uh, Sue Montana, no. Sue, where are ya? Maybe I missed her? I don't know. Here she is, going right by her. So there we go, we're playing as Sue Montana now. I don't know what she's from, if you know, let me know. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. She has plenty of things to trade and a camera angle that I can't use. Um, I don't know, like I'll buy this piece, the uh, inverted slope, because honestly that's more helpful for me than I think any of this stuff, because if I take a look, I've been needing to sell to her for the longest time. I'm not really too interested in selling stuff that I only have one of, because I'm sure I will need it at some point, especially any kind of weapon I might have, but if we have duplicates of things, say the gems and the diamonds and stuff, which we do, we have like 11 of these, I don't really need 11, so I wish I could sell multiple at once, you know, but I can't quite, but that's okay and I'll try to sell a bunch of these. I mean, I don't really need the money right now, but I just don't run into this balloon lady very much, so if I can take the opportunity now, that'd be great. So like, like you, you can tell there's a bunch of them. They all sell for 9,000 each. You can really get like 900,000 really quickly if you have like 100. <laughs> Which, I mean, we don't have quite 100. We have probably like 20 or 30 I could sell right now. Well, I actually don't want to sell that last one. Um, all right then, we sold some of them. I mean, I could sell a little bit more. What should I sell? I could sell because I have 10 of these, so that would be another 90,000 if I just sold all 10. I won't sell all 10, though. I'll sell eight, or I'll sell nine. Something like that. There we go. And then some of these. Yeah, we're definitely making our money back that we just spent uh, buying all those characters, which is good, because that's basically like free characters, which I will totally take. So we got that, Like, and there's some things like these magic potions, which are 50,000 each. The coins are 75 thousand. that's like insane stuff. Uh, okay, we got some coins, I'm happy with that. She didn't really have anything I needed, exactly. Does she want something more? What is she looking for now? She's looking for chickens again. Um, I already gave you the chicken, so I'm actually not too interested in helping you out there, lady. Okay, let's try to find some flatter ground. There's chickens everywhere now. So we found some good stuff. Hi, Dino. I like how you still follow me around. He's my best bud. Maybe we can get over here and and then this is where we can spawn in our next thing. Because we've checked out the two vehicles we got. We now need to go ahead and... Hmm, okay. Thought I saw something interesting over there, not really. If we go to our discoveries, we can uh, see what else we got here. So I was looking for, not the jungle camp, the dino transport cage. Uh, once again, it's not the perfect landscape area for it, but it's something, what is this here? Oh, it's just a little thing. Nothing to be all that worried about. And I saw this glowing over here, so maybe I could really quickly, yep, just discover that stump. Whoa, look at this, pirate flag. Hey, that's cool. Uh, I have this stuff, okay. Not gonna worry about it too much then. Yeah, I think we've found most of what you can find in the jungle area now that we've done this. We just need to find a T-Rex, which I don't even know how rare he is, or like the possibility is, hello, Yoon, you're a new character. You are Rex Tyrone. Hi, Rex. Hey there, Rex Tyrone here, and boy am I in a pickle. We've been securing the new enclosure here for our latest addition. Thing is, in my hastiness to get everything secure, I accidentally left the food back at camp, and now she's really hungry. Don't suppose you got, or you could help me out by finding some food for me? Sure, don't tell me there's just another dino in there. There is, so like if we did have a hard time finding this guy, we could have just, you know, Oh, well, you opened it up and now he's attacking me. We could have just gotten this one, which is sort of funny. But now that if he's beating me up, I really could just remove him from existence, couldn't I? Yeah, get get out of here. You're being a little bit of a menace. <laughs> he feels so co uh, confident that he beat that guy. But let's go ahead and get a bunch more studs. Oh my gosh, we're at 185. So nice, that gave us like two, 300,000. So what would it, why can I press circle here? Oh, I can close it. Oh, so I could have closed it myself, cool. So there we go, that is, at this point, every single thing you can get from the Jungle Explorer's downloadable content. Make sure you do it because 
Who knows how long it's gonna be here for? I mean, they never really give too much word on if it's gonna ever go away, but you never know. So you might wanna, you might just wanna log on the Lego Worlds and get that content, get a bunch of free studs for it too. That sounds pretty fun, right? Now let's go check out this, this uh, pirate captain or whatever it could be. I don't know if we've ever checked this out before. Oh, you want me to paint this, don't you? Uh, this flag ain't good enough for the captain. It needs to be, okay, black, not red. We can do that really quick. Um, let me change the paint to black, get up here, and then just paint it up. Was that enough for you? Yes, it was, okay. All right, what are you gonna get for that? Uh, oh, look at this, a blunderbuss. Cool, I'll take it. And I already have this character. Yep, okay, not, nothing to worry about. We'll just do some quests for some characters really quickly. You're looking for one extra goat. I can do that super duper easy. All we gotta do is find the goat, which is right, nope, that's a pig. Hold on. There we go. There you go. And now you get, I thought you were gonna throw that at me. <laughs> Careful, lady. We got a spear with a great tip. Maybe that's, it looks like that's a new thing. Cool. We get a couple more studs for it, too. I'm glad. So, at this point, I guess we could continue exploring the jungle. I don't have anything specific I'm trying to, is that a dolphin? Oh, look at that dolphin. Maybe we can go ahead and find this guy. Whoa, look at you swim. You're a really good swimmer. So we could ride the dolphin, but can I discover him? I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, quest not available. I know this seems like a really awful thing to do, but if I get him out of the water, I think that's what I need to do to make it so that, yeah. See, like, he doesn't have a quest unless he's out of the water. I feel really awful for doing that, and I don't have the specific fish you want, which is really weird to me. All right, then, I'll push you off here. I don't mean to keep you out of your natural habitat. That'd be, that's so mean. I just wanna get your fish. But I figured that I had every type of fish. I guess not, maybe I should've, Okay, I regret my actions earlier not buying that fish that the balloon lady was offering me because I could have gotten a dolphin. That would have been awful. Oh, not awful, awesome. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. Really. Like, that's the first time I've done that in the last like month. I've said awful instead of awesome or the other way around. I don't know why I'm so silly. I feel like I just heard a roar. Um, this red frog I haven't found, but he hasn't said he wanted anything. I mean, maybe, oh, I didn't, that's not what I, sorry. I don't know. Like if I, like I know, maybe it's this monkey over here. I think there's like an ape over here. And, but I feel like I keep hearing roars and it's definitely not my little friend here because I'm right next to him. It sounds like a distant roar. I mean, maybe just the sound's weird. But uh, I would really want to find a T-Rex because apparently there are T-Rexes. So this guy doesn't move incredibly fast, but I love his backflip jump. Like that is the coolest thing. Now this is a vehicle I'm pretty sure I found. Yeah, it's just a dinghy, nothing crazy. And there's a shark over here, and we've definitely found sharks before. If I go over here, I can just see if I can't, you know, remove him from the premises, and if I can't, okay, there you go, big shark. So maybe there's small sharks? Huh, okay, so we should definitely go ahead and check every time we see a shark, because maybe there is. Okay, so there's a monkey here. Once again, same thing as normal. This monkey just, the gorilla, isn't giving me, ow, rude, and then he attacks me. Um, I didn't do anything to him, so maybe if I do beat him now. Uh, Velociraptor, where are you? Velociraptor friend, help me out. Why is he not here when I need him? Why is he not here? He's over here. Here, hopping on you, hopping on you, hopping on you quickly, quickly, attack him, attack him, boom. Get him, Velociraptor, get him, get him, or not. It's the battle of awkward. It's the battle of awkward. Um, okay, Velociraptor is not very good at fighting. Okay, um, um, no, come on, I wasn't ready. That's stinky. Oh, what is this? Is that a golden apple? The Velociraptor drops golden apples? That's weird. Uh, I just want a weapon. Let's go and get our good old bazooka out. We haven't used this thing in a little while. Buddy, you wanna mess with me? Cause this is what happens. There. See, now I can get him. No, 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 give him banana, give him a banana, banana, banana. There we go. Finally, I get myself the gorilla. It's never given me this opportunity before. And you're mine. <laughs> How much are you? Oh, not much, 6,000 is not bad. So I guess you're supposed to be easy to get. I've just never been given that opportunity. I've, I've, I've fought plenty of gorillas and they've never given me the opportunity to unlock them. So there we go, one less thing to worry about now. I haven't discovered this little vine. Okay. Hmm. I think at this point, I mean, I'll keep running around for sure, but maybe I'll hop onto one of the uh, Jungle Explorer helicopters and we'll just try to you know, stop by if we see anything interesting, but beyond that, 
Maybe that'll be it. Like, uh, we'll try to move to a different biome. I plan on next episode checking out some of the city police kind of stuff, but I didn't want to do that this episode. And why is just because I feel like it'd be too cluttered and I want to be able to make each video sort of specific to one thing. Oh, what is going on? Whoa, oh yeah, this is where I spawned the stuff in. Short term memory, right? <laughs> but uh, that was last episode, so if you're missing out, you know what to go check out now. So I've definitely been around this area, that's not what I wanted. Um, I've been around this area a lot, but if I keep going, I guess, forward, I should be able to run into new stuff. So that'll be my goal, and hopefully by doing that, can find some, now that there's Velociraptors naturally spawning though, which is really cool, I don't know, were Velociraptors in the game before this update? Because I know T-Rexes aren't, I just haven't found one. I don't know if I need to do a specific quest for a T-Rex or something like that, uh, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to, uh, hmm, probably just go to all the quest markers and maybe they will have something T-Rex related in them. If I do all the quests in the world, I'm sure that uh, we'll find something cool out of it, right? So I'll go ahead and give that a shot. Oh, here we go. I was about to, you know, cut to whenever we reach one, but we reach one fairly quickly. So what is this guy doing in a jungle? Seems like a weird habitat for him, but uh, hey. Uh, you might be a great builder, but I bet you can't paint this better than me. Oh yeah? I'm gonna make the whole thing purple. Or black, because that's the color I had available. <laughs> there you go. Uh, your painting skills are most impressive. If you want to add more, feel free. Unless you're finished. I am finished. Whoa! So that is a yellow potion. Once again, we just saw that those potions are worth like 50,000 studs, so quite generous of them. We already had the heroic knife, though, so nothing too much to worry about there. There is another shark. Once again, I can poke down here and make sure it's not something I already have. If he doesn't swim away, that is. Uh, I think he's the same size normal big old shark. Yep. All right, <laughs> I'll just remove him so he isn't a menace to me in any way. Hey, hey, you stop. I'm gonna ride you. I'm gonna ride you. I'm gonna ride you, sir. Or not. Never mind. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> okay, neg to the next quest now. I'm going down. Goodbye. So we're finding more of the temples. I definitely think it's good to go ahead and check this out. Oh, there's a golden chest up here. I definitely wanna get that the golden chests drop a lot of studs. They drop at least one purple stud, so that's really good. So let's go ahead and check out this one. I don't think it's gonna be anything super crazy, but it's a pirate bomb. I have one of these, but you never know what you might end up getting, so you gotta check it out. And then there's all, also a bunch of small normal brown chests around here. Not too worried about that right now. My uh. Helicopter is a bit totaled though. I don't appreciate it. And I think there's another one right across here that I almost passed. Uh, if I go like that, go like this. Yep, it's right here. So we'll go ahead and check out that one as well because you never know when you might find something you might need for a future quest. So we'll do it as much as we possibly can no matter how much of a battering my helicopter takes. So let's go ahead and get this one and maybe it'll be better than a pirate bomb. Ooh, it is dynamite, which we have plenty of, so that's not too exciting, hey. We had to try though, right? I mean, maybe that means that we have found everything that's worthwhile to find in these, if we have already, you know, if we're starting to run into stuff that maybe isn't super duper interesting. I'm not sure. Here's another one. If we get another, you know, not so interesting item, I'll start skipping these, I think. Or maybe I'll just start doing them off camera, and if, like, I get something interesting out of them, I'll start keeping it on camera, but for right now, I will uh, open this one up, and what do we get inside? Ooh, it is a white flame torch. That's not too bad. I mean, the flame torches are a little on the rare side, but once again, nothing on the must-have side. I just wanna get in my helicopter that falls in all sorts of ways every time. I might have to just get a smaller flying vehicle because this one is a little too bulky for the jungle, ironically enough. There are chests everywhere, though. It's insane. I just wanna do a couple more quests in this area, in this world, before we move on to anything else, you know, if we do. So I'm gonna keep on moving. Oh wait, no, I'm actually riding right over it. <laughs> Thought we had a little bit more to go. It's another one of these clock tower things, okay. Oh, is this one that I can even do? Yes, I can, I can just paint. I think I ran into this, but I never actually did it. So let's go ahead and paint this. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to paint it a specific color. Doesn't seem like I am. So we're just gonna go ahead and give it a black finish along the bottom. There you go, that's all I wanted. That's all you get, awesome. All right, so what do we get for that? We get, oh, a red gem. Okay, there's a couple thousand more, you know, uh, crystals, or no, crystals, studs. I can't think of any of the right terminology, but we have now over more than two million studs, which is more studs than I've ever had in the game before. So that's really, really cool. All right, off to the next quest. Let's see what we can get done. So what is this one? 
Uh. Okay, oh, what are you doing here? This is a feature of the land, but it looks so meh. Can you liven it up with, with some paint? Sure, are you a samurai? Do we have you? We might not. No, we do not. Okay, this is a new character, then a samurai. Usually she's only found in the the pink tree land that we haven't been to all that much. I wasn't sure if you had it in you, but this looks super cool. Do you want to add any more paint, or shall we call this done? I will call it done. You're gonna give me the rifle. A samurai has a rifle? That's not very characteristic, but hey, we're gonna discover you're actually very cheap as well, and only a thousand on studs there. Interesting find in the jungle. I thought that they were, you know, only gonna have a quest like that in the uh, the pink tree area, whatever they're called, I forget what they're called. Uh, but I guess I'm wrong. Let's move to the next one that should be over this way. And we're already here, it's a pirate. All right, Mr. Pirate, what do you want? Uh, I've heard you like to build things, try this. Okay. <laughs> He doesn't even tell me what he wants to build. So I really can build something contextless, like a block within a block within a block, and it shouldn't bother him, because he just told me to build something, huh? Well, I'm glad we're getting quicker at finishing these quests. Looking good, buddy, that's more fine. Uh, that, that's more than fine for me, are you finished? Yep, I am. So you're gonna give me a pistol, we're getting plenty of firearms today, and then I don't need to discover you because I already have you, but that's one more quest, and I think we only have like two more to go, according to the mini-map here, so we can continue on with that. Oh, wait, was that glowing? I'm pretty sure I have found this. Um, let me get out of the water and, and make sure that I have, though, because I don't wanna miss out on something. Wow, look at this, I have not discovered this, and there our, our helicopter finally blows up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use something different, something a bit more compact, the agent's helipack. I know I use it all the time, but for a good reason, I can't believe we haven't found that vehicle. Of course, I think we found it plenty of times in the beta of the game, and maybe that's why I thought I already had it. Because it was a really common vehicle in the beta because there weren't too many vehicles at that point. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so which one's closer here? Now, I always press that button. Um, this one slightly to our right is a closer one, so we'll just charge off that way. But yeah, I th I, I'm glad that I'm still having fun with this series. You know, this game has been out since, like, what, March? And it's been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of awesome Lego stuff this year. Whoa, look at this. Okay, whoa, this is like a whole setup and everything, and even has the helipad. Oh, this is really cool. And there's a gold brick opportunity. I'm glad that we uh, have been exploring these quests then. Okay, so I don't see any dinosaurs around, but maybe that's what they're looking for. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a caveman in there. Okay. I accidentally captured a caveman. Do me a favor and get him out of that cage. Okay. How the best way to do that is, I'm not really sure. Could I just. I can't open it normally, so I guess the idea is that I want to. Uh, maybe make this a bit smaller and then remove. There you go. You should be able to head out now, okay, man. Come on. Come on. Not enough for you? Ah, oh, hey. Thanks for dropping in, quite literally. I want to buy a couple things, sure. <laughs> Whatever you want. Uh, what is this? Orange gems? I actually do not need these. I probably shouldn't buy them. I'll buy the skeleton head zone. I don't think I'm ever going to need this stuff, but I. All right. <laughs> she literally just plops in on top of my head. Is that better? Right? There you go, so you're gonna give me that gold brick. You are for 108 gold bricks. Nice. And that's all you want? I think it is. Okay, that's not really all that crazy. Yeah, I can remove you and can remove you. Do, have we found any of this stuff? I've unlocked, I mean, I've discovered it, so ooh, I haven't discovered this little corner piece. Uh, this right here I haven't found. What about this kind of stuff? I haven't, so I'll get what I can. It's a paleontology crate. Is there something paleontologist-like in there? Because that's interesting. Not too much going on in here, nothing too crazy. We can discover, oh, little cones, little cones, I like that. That's really cool if we ever want to set up like a like a uh, construction area, something traffic-related, I like that. Um, I think that's about it for this one. That was an interesting little quest. Nothing dinosaur-related, unfortunately. I really want to find a T-Rex. I sort of ashamed of myself for not parking my helicopter on the helipad. Well, not my helicopter. I mean, I guess it's sort of a helicopter. I mean, it has the little things, but it's more of a jetpack. But let's go this way. It's our last quest on this world, and then maybe we'll finish today's episode. I'm not really sure, but I am really, really glad that I've I've still been rocking out with this series. Have I found you? Are you a surfer girl down there? I don't know who that is, so I'm gonna make sure. And it looks like it's a surfer girl, but I gotta make extra, extra sure, because I don't wanna miss any character that I need to go back for. Um, Yeah, I do. Okay, better than nothing. You know, I'd rather 
go and know for sure that it's you know something I have, then always wonder, and then never get the character, because I would stink. But yeah, more episodes are coming soon, because not only in this game, but in many other LEGO games that are coming up soon, you know, there's LEGO Ninjago, the game coming out sometime later this month. I do plan on playing that. Not only that, but more LEGO Dimensions, LEGO Dimensions Wave 9 releases sometime this month. I will be able to cover some of it. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of it. I think I've already been sent like the Powerpuff Girls stuff, so I should be able to show that off very soon. But you want fish. Me want a campfire and some fish to eat. Okay, I should have that stuff, right? Hopefully. Um, We're gonna find out. Uh. I should at least have the campfire. Uh, well, I have a fire, that's a fire trap. <laughs> Don't think that's what he's looking for. Um. What? What, well thank you. Whoever you are, whatever I did. Um, I was trying to help this guy, I guess, I guess she was looking for goats and the goats just walked into her pit and she just assumed I did it. Okay, city cave woman. Wow, I don't have a, I don't have either of these things? Okay, well that's a surprise to me. I will have to make sure I get them and now the goats are beating each other up. Why don't you guys look peaceful? You're, you're the same kind. So it looks like I actually can't do this. I could remove him just to, you know, get out of here. I, I won't do your quest. <laughs> oh well, um, that's fine. So technically we've done every quest, but that one we did every quest that we could. I'll have to make sure I find those things because I guess I just, you know, sometimes do a bad job. Is this the dino is this dinosaur just following me around or is he just naturally spawning? I'm not really sure. But we are done with this world, and maybe that's where I'll finish it off for today's episode. In the next episode of LEGO Worlds, of course, we'll go ahead and adventure something else. I will probably check out the What's it called, the police stuff, the city stuff, that I never really got the chance to check out. There's probably a lot of studs and fun things to explore throughout that kind of you know, adventure. But for right now, I get myself a club. So yeah, these just don't give me anything interested. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of LEGO Worlds. If you watched this fun video, make sure you comment Velociraptor Zebra so I know you've watched at the end and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more like it, feel free to click on any of the videos on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.